Praise God. Greetings to you in the miraculous name of Jesus Christ. Today we are going to look at how to come more closer to Jesus Christ. So if we read Matthew chapter 19 words 14 and 15. In fact you can start from 13, 14 and 15. Then were there brought unto him little children that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But Jesus said, Suffer little children and forbid them not to come unto me. For of such is the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and departed. So here we can see that there were some little children who wanted to come closer to Jesus Christ. And they wanted Jesus to lay the, his hands on them and pray. But the disciples rebuked them, did not allow them to come near to Jesus Christ. But Jesus said, let the children come near. Let me bless them. And he laid his hands on them and blessed them. So 2000 years back when Jesus Christ was alive, the children, the young people, the people who had problems in their lives, the people who had diseases, they could directly contact Jesus. They could directly come to Jesus and be blessed. But today, after 2000 years, when Jesus Christ is no more alive, he died on the cross for us. But today we won't be able to directly get in touch with Jesus Christ. And we need a prayer request. We need someone to lay down his hands on us. We won't be able to do that. So my question here is, if I want to get blessings from Jesus Christ, today will I be able to do that? And the answer is yes. So how can I come close to Jesus Christ today? How can I speak to God? So, if you look at Moses in the Old Testament, Moses wished to see God. God said, no one can see me, but he at least passed through and he could see the shadow of God. So, it is the will of a person. How much do you wish, how much do you will to speak to God, to come near to God? Now, in John chapter 14 and verse 16, it is clearly mentioned that when Jesus Christ was crucified, he said something to us. Is it written, And I will pray. The Father and He shall give you another comforter that He may abide with you forever. So Jesus Christ did not leave us alone. He sent the comforter which is the Holy Spirit in this world so that we won't be alone. So it's a very happy thing that the Holy Spirit is still there with us for our problems. If we have any issues in our life, we can communicate through the Holy Spirit. So again, my question is, can we come closer to Jesus Christ the way people used to do 2000 years back? The answer is yes. There are two ways to do that. One, prayer and fasting. Two, worship and praise. In fact, praise and worship. But everyone prays to God. Everyone worships to God. So how can I say that I, we are not near to God? The answer to this is, if we pray and worship, there is a way to do that. In Acts chapter 2, words 1, 2, 3, 4, you can read, And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord, one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. 
and there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire and it sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance that means it's clearly mentioned here when you gather when you pray when you fast when you worship God you should worship with the Spirit when you pray you should pray with the Holy Spirit that is one way that you can communicate with God and come more closer to God Amen so if you want to come more closer to God, yes, you want to, you should pray, you should worship, but you need to pray with the Holy Spirit. And only then the Holy Spirit can take you more closer to God. Amen. Now, you would ask me, how will I get filled with the Holy Spirit? Yes, that is a huge question mark. Now, it's not just the Holy Spirit that you need to have. There's one more thing. When you worship, you need to have a wish that you need to speak to God. Like Moses wanted to see God, we need to wish that I need, I'm coming closer to you, but I want to speak to you. Coming closer, I said, prayer and worship with the Holy Spirit. Second is, I need to speak to God. I need to speak with the angels of God. I need to understand their language. Now, how can I do that? So you can read 1 Corinthians 14, 2. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men, but unto God. That means, when you worship God with the Holy Spirit, God will fill your mouth with a tongue, a new language. And that language is not the language which the human beings talk to each other. That is the language which God understands, which the messengers of God understand, which the angels of God understand. Yes, that means today when we pray and worship, we pray with the Holy Spirit. Also, we need to speak with the tongue of fire. So I need to come closer to God. Not only that, I need to speak the tongue of fire so that we can speak to God in the language which God speaks, with the language which God and angels understand. Amen. Now the huge question mark is, there are a lot of people who pray, who fast, but they come to me and tell that, I am not getting filled with the Holy Spirit. I am not able to speak in multiple tongues. I try to open my mouth, but there is no new language which comes out of my mouth. Whoever is listening to me, there are three things which you need to understand. If you are not able to worship God in the true spirit, you are not able to speak in multiple tongues, and you need to check your life. Is there any sin or any mistake that you have committed? Is there any shortcomings in your life? You need to pray today to find out the shortcomings in your life. You need to pray if there is any mistakes or sins that you are committing. And if you find out that there is any shortcomings, the second thing is you need to ask for forgiveness. Amen. Yes, everyone who is hearing me, once you find out your shortcomings, you will have to kneel down and pray and ask for forgiveness for every sin that you have committed, not today, but in the past. You need to ask forgiveness for the sins that your parents have committed. You need to ask forgiveness for the sins that your grandparents have committed. And once your sins are forgiven, then you need to do the third thing, which is take a decision. Yes. Today you need to take a decision that I will sin no more. I won't commit any more mistakes. I will walk with Jesus. I will look up to the heavens and walk. My path will be towards the everlasting life. My mission, my target is to reach heaven. Yes, in this world you will create, you will build a house, but my mission is to stay in the house in the heaven which God is going to create for us. 
So three things. One is acceptance. Finding out your shortcomings. Two, forgiveness. Three, take a decision to sin no more. If you do that, believe me, and you start praying to God, God will definitely fill you with the Holy Spirit. God will definitely give you a new language to speak, which God and the angels of God understands. Now, if you do these things, you will come more closer to God. You will be able to communicate with God. So 2,000 years back when Jesus was here in this particular world, people were able to directly access Jesus Christ. Even today you will be able to do the same thing, but with the Holy Spirit and with the tongue of fire, you will be able to come more closer to God. Amen. Yes, amen. This is the way we can come more closer to God. I pray that God helps us to come more closer to Him, to communicate with Him with a new language. Pray with the Holy Spirit. Let the blessings of God be with you all. Amen.